Portal 2 is absolutely full of foreshadowing. The easiest example is the Oracle turret, which can be saved from the turret redemption line in Chapter 5. The turret then gives a bunch of vague allusions to Greek mythology and things that lie below the facility, which becomes very relevant in the second act. It's also pretty easy to spot the connection between the potatoes in the Bring Your Daughter to Work Day presentations and Wheatley turning GLaDOS into a potato. Another example, when you get the first portal gun, if you look up in this mural room right after grabbing it, you'll see a mural of different moon phases, and in the center, a hole to the sky very similar to the one that we see at the end of the game. One of my favorites that people don't really talk much about is the music. Music in Portal 2 alludes to a lot of things, but one of my favorites is how Kara Mia Audio, the theme that plays at the end of the game, can be heard emanating from both the light bridges and the companion cube, and both the cube and sunlight play a massive role at the end of the game. And hey, you can even see the ending shed in this animatic. 